Not too long ago, one of my headsets stopped working. No matter what I do, it doesn't seem to work. So now I have to buy a new headphone. Before that, I want to know what was the exact fault. So after applying a bit of force, this jack came apart. So this is a problem. Now the solution is, I can also buy a new Bluetooth headphone. But I have a lot of old Bluetooth headphones laying around. So today in this video, I'll fix one of these Bluetooth headsets and I'll upgrade it by connecting a solar panel to it so that I can get extra backup. So finally the Bluetooth headset will look appear something like this. Let's get started. <laughs> solar panel, solder wick and few different kinds of batteries. So firstly I try to open it without damaging anything. So I secured all the neodymium magnets which are always helpful. First I removed the left hand side and I found a battery which was almost of no use because it's bulged. On the right side we have the main circuit. On the left that's nothing special but right side contains everything so this is the switch IC and this is the vibration motor well I have a neodymium magnet over there and that one is a mic and this is the antenna the receiver antenna or the transmitter anyway trans receiver antenna and these are the switches and LEDs now I will check whether it's working or not by replacing with another battery. I can also replace with some different kind of batteries but there's not enough space for them to install. Instead I have to install outside of the case like this and I have to hide it with the help of solar panel. So now I removed the old battery and replaced with the new battery to check whether it works or not. And after powering on, everything seems to be fine. And it entered the pairing mode after connecting it. I verified that everything is working fine. Now it's time for me to salvage the old headphones from the old headphone. After replacing all the things properly, I wanted to know how much power my Bluetooth headphone consumes. So I powered on initially it just took something around 25 milliamp and after entering the pairing stage, pairing mode, it started consuming around 50 to 60 milliamp because in this stage it scans the room for available devices. So this rating will oscillate between 30 to 60 milliamp and once my Bluetooth was connected to my phone, again the power consumption dropped to around 30 or 25 milliamp means that's a normal it dropped to 20 milliamp and when I try to play some music it again goes up to 50 milliamp as you can see 50 milliamp but modern bluetooth uses bluetooth 5.0 which is even more less power consuming so according to my calculation while listening to music the power consumption should not go above 35 milliamp so if I take this old battery with my headset so according to the calculation it cannot draw for more than 3 hours means I cannot play this play my I cannot use my bluetooth headphone for more than 3 hours but I can solve this problem by connecting an external battery well I do not have enough space to install it there so I installed it outside and now this is how my bluetooth headphone looks at the final stage and here's the battery which I secured with my glue gun along with the solar panel so that I will get some extra backup. So advantage is 48 hours plus battery backup and this battery backup is further extended with the help of this solar panel and finally we reused one of our old e-waste. Well e-waste is a serious issue but somehow we reused it. If you like my video like share and subscribe.